D-Lo Full for Unboxing and More. Shout out to the LDBC. Real quick, I want to talk about a video I watched on a uh, barbershop conversation on Fred's channel. Shout out to Fred. Salute that brother's epic video. Um, probably one of the best videos I've seen on YouTube in quite some time. Um, with, the, with an interview um, in it as well. Uh, anyway, um, Fred was interviewing Deontay Wild. I think it was um, either, either post-fight um, or either may have been yesterday. But it, was, it seemed like it was outside in the, um, outside in the um, L.A. area, uh, probably uh, outside, not far from the arena, from Staples. But anyway, uh, Fred and uh, Ellie, Ellie was out there as well. I heard him on the video, so he probably has a video as well. But, um, you know, Fred was talking to Deontay Wilder about the fight, about the hate, about, uh, you know, him speaking up on, on social issues. And, and, and so forth and so on and you know Deontay talked about you know not not worried about it you know Ellie actually came in and said that you know he's been knowing Deontay for seven years been covering him for seven years never heard him say anything negative about anyone and um you know and Deontay you know basically said that you know um you know why, why waste the energy you know putting somebody down you know he also talked about his haters and, and detractors you know, tear him down. He said, "Hey, y'all, y'all tear me down. All, as best as y'all tear me down, God's gonna build me back up." And I and I think Deontay fully believes that. And um, you know, I, I I want to see Deontay um continue to to rise to the, to the top. You know, I feel like Deontay worked worked very hard. His path wasn't the the, the common path for a boxer to reach the heights that he's reached. But he, but he's made it, you know. He's he's made it there, and and I'm happy for that brother. Um, as far as that fight, you know what I'm saying. You know, I, I feel like him and Tyson Fury came together, made a, a great event. I also feel like the the fight was a great fight, which is something you probably could never associate Tyson Fury with versus anybody else. So, um, you know what I'm saying. Deontay always makes great fights. Tyson Fury typically made boring fights. The fight was a great fight, so that tells me Deontay Wilder did everything he had to do to make it a great fight, you know? And uh, Fury did what he had to do to, um, to oblige him. But uh, that said, you know, Deontay seems to be in, in, in great spirits. Um, that's, that's good to see. He should be. He shouldn't, have, he shouldn't hang his head about nothing. Um, he was also asked about about Joshua and uh, you know Eddie Hearn, and uh, he, he pretty much said that you know he talked to his team, and um, you know what I'm saying they really want to fight. You know they, they can talk about it, you know basically, but he, he he did reiterate that he really does want that rematch with Tyson Fury, um, and, and he know he knows what to do. You know he also talked about um they, they broke his broke his arm about I think he said about 12 weeks ago. Either 12 weeks ago or 12 weeks into the camp, forgive me. Um, but he, he said what happened is uh, he was uh, throwing a punch to the body and his um, sparring partner turned and he hit him on the elbow and he, he broke a bone in his arm. And he had to have surgery on it. And, uh, you know, of course, rehab and so forth. And he said he wasn't able to throw uh, punches throughout most of the training camp as a result of that surgery on his arm, but they kept it on the wraps because, you know, he wanted the fight to, um, to, to go forward. So, um, hey, <laughs> but but this is the man that Andre Ward questions his heart. You know, Andre Ward questions his heart as to whether or not he wanted to get back in the ring with Tyson. Well, wanted to go through that again with Tyson Fury. Hey, Deontay Wilder done showed us time and time again he'll fight with injury. He'll fight through an injury if it happens in the fight. You know, this man broke his hand more than once in a fight. He um, had a torn bicep in a fight. Um, both both times, you know, every time he's fought through those injuries. To get through the fight, he came into that um, fight, with Luis Ortiz, you know, with the flu, and fought through the fight, and uh, got the knockout. You know, um, don't know what was going on with Deontay from a medical standpoint. Besides, you know, coming from that hill, that broken arm, but I, I did hear him say that um, he came in on fight night at 209. He weighed in at 212. So instead of coming in heavier, he actually dropped three more pounds. Um, he did not say what Fury weighed, but um, 
my guess would be Fury probably weighed more than what he weighed in. Um, I'd say he probably weighed four to ten pounds more, but you know I may be wrong. But um, I I, I just got I just got, I can't say enough about how proud I am of Deontay Wilder. I tip my hat off to him. I salute him. Um, you know Wild, Wilder's a true champion. People can hate all they want to hate on him. Um, they can talk down on him. They don't have to give him his credit. You know, do what they want to do. But at the end of the day, they can't change who that man is and, and what he's done. Um, and, you know, another thing Fred Fred said was, um, you know, we want to give you your flowers while you're still here. You know what I'm saying? And Deontay was like, yeah, appreciate me while I'm still here. Don't You don't wait till I'm, I'm gone, till I'm dead and gone or, you know, and, uh, even even away from the sport to appreciate what he was, you know. And, and that's a lot to be said. I, I, I'd say that about the people in my life. You know what I'm saying? I, I want them to know how much I appreciate them why they're still here today. You know, um, I don't, I don't want to be at someone's funeral, you know what I'm saying, saying all the things that I wish I had told them when they were still here. Um, so I, I perfectly understand that. That's something I, I firmly believe in myself, and, I, and, I, and I'm going to do my part at uh, let, letting Deontay Wilder know, you know what I'm saying, how much I, as a fan of his, appreciate, you know what I'm saying, the hard work he puts in, appreciate the way he speaks up for the people. Appreciate the way he goes in there and puts it all on the line when he gets to the ring, and um, you know what I'm saying. And, and, and I don't, I don't know that there'll ever be another fighter like him, but um, I, I certainly want to want to appreciate him while he's here. So, uh, you know, shout out to the LDBC, salute to Deontay Wilder, his Bond Squad, Squad, Squad up. Um, hey, thanks for viewing my video. If you have subscribed to the channel, I ask that you please subscribe, hit that like button, share, drop a comment. I'm out. Peace.